What's up, Western? It's your man Serena, as usual, with my lovely new co-host, Selena. Selena, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm well, thanks. Let's tell them about what we got in store for today. Well, we told you it was coming, and it came. Western Homecoming dominated and conquered Western this past weekend, and we have your scoop on TV Western coming up right now. Now. Coming came and went and it was a blast as usual. The royalty competition, the football game and the parade all took place and were amazing. And we also have Taylor who covered our career fair and of course the federal election is coming up and we have our streeters which are going around to students on campus and asking them about the federal election. It's coming up on October the 14th. Cool, so stay tuned and enjoy all the fun we got in store. Check it out. I'm here at The Spoke for the 2008 Western Royalty Competition. We're here to watch some talented performers vie for the crown of the 2008 Homecoming Royalty. So let's sit back and enjoy the show. All right, guys, I'm here with Jesse. Honestly, it was one of the best fiddle performances I've ever seen in my entire life. That was amazing. Thank Just amazing. Let everybody know what you played. Uh, well, I played Devil Went Down to Georgia by the Charlie Daniels Band. Patrick, that was an excellent job. Man, I couldn't believe it. We had a few uh, miss it. Hopefully you guys get the clip. It was an amazing deal with the, uh, with the glow sticks there. Where'd you uh, get the inspiration from? Uh, I saw some guys at a, great, at a dance and I was in grade 9. And then in grade 10 we started a break dancing club. And so I saw some guys practicing there. So I'm like, teach me. And so I learned, and then in grade 12, I started improv and making up things myself. I'll pour in rain. Who are you representing? I'm representing Alumni House. All right. So if you guys missed it, Josh did an excellent uh, song out there. That was your own, uh, that was your own creation, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was an original song. All right, where'd you get the inspiration from? Um, it's actually based on a true story. There is a girl, her name isn't Casey. Uh, we're really good friends, but there was a time where we were kind of considering going a little further. So that's what the song is about. All right. probably one of the most memorable performances we've had tonight. First of all, you gotta get the get up. Look at this. Yeah. Where'd you, how'd you come up with the ensemble? Well, I figured I'd go with like the, the Braveheart theme, but Western, Westernize it. And I, uh, I play in a bagpipe band in Toronto. So this is the, the kilt from that. And it's basically from my waist down is like the pipe band uniform, which is, this is called a sporin, which is basically a man purse. And, uh, and then I just rep in OC. Right on, OC. Yeah. You guys had a lot of support tonight. Oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're out in full force. So winners to announce. In the gentlemen's category, we have a purple sash, and also the mind freak, the man who can move his fingers faster than I ever knew possible while changing little color code Very talking about people on my floor. So I'm in Saugeen. Hit me up. Oh, 
<laughs> the next two winners come in a pair because they're amazing like that and they work off each other as a team. So, everybody put your hands together for your other homecoming royalties, Tracy Soman and Chloe. Western royalty, 2008 homecoming royals is all I can say. And first of all, congratulations. Honestly, some of the best performances I saw, that was absolutely incredible. So I'm just gonna actually move down the line here. You guys uh, just let me know or your names and uh, what you did and just so we can let everybody at home know. Uh, my name's Chloe Abbott. I'm actually from Newfoundland and I sang a song that I wrote. I'm Tracy Soman, I'm from Toronto, yeah Toronto, and tonight I sang a song by Alicia Keys entitled If I Ain't Got You. If I ain't got you, baby, sorry, the one down the I'm uh, Taylor Plum, I'm from Kingsville, Ontario. I solved the Rubik's Cube and then finished it behind my back. 